hit the like button if you like Indian food. Hey, hey Enjoy Life TV, TV family. family, we are back with another video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And, and please don't forget, forget to share with, with anyone and everyone you believe will love our content. content. We are back. Oh, we are back. No? <laughs> oh, we are back. Let's be quick, yeah? Alright. We've got bad things to talk about. Um, so we had decided to get an Indian. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do a thumbnail though. We may have to do a thumbnail with us chomping in it, but yeah. for now, let's do a quick thumbnail. Maybe you can pick up the curry, pick up the plate. <laughs> okay, I may do another with another one another as we one. go along. So, what did he? What did okay, he so we go. Chicken curry. Yeah. We go kebab roll. Yeah. We go well, some beef, two veg samosa in here. Yeah, I didn't see any veg samosa. That's so annoying. Like you spend your money as well. Like, anyways, okay. Anyways, so we go <laughs> kebab roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chicken curry. And bandits. Oh, sorry. Um, Am I being mint, too quick? Mint and uh, chili dip. Mint and chili dip. Mmm. Bit hotter. We can show you as well. Like this is what it looks like. You can see it well. Well, you're going in. This tastes like chili food. I know, like. Ooh. <sighs> so guys, I hope you're doing well. Let me just let me just look. Let me just show you. Yeah. Mmm. Let's move it to mm. the side. We don't need them. Mmm. Mmm. Guys. Oh. This is banging, guys. This is, this is amazing. It tastes like. Oh no. This is. Alright. Trinidad, yeah. There's a lot of Indians that migrated to Trinidad. And our food tastes exactly the same. I think the difference is, is that their roti is a little bit more thicker than ours. Hmm. <laughs> You know what's mad here? I wasn't feeling for anything. And we were taking ages to figure out what we wanted to eat. But wow. I've never heard this before. Who's banging? Strawberry drink. Fizzy drink. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we have been away for a while. Yes, guys. There's been a lot of transitions, a lot of changes that had to be made. Um, and I speak about some of those changes that, well, I'm going to speak about some of those changes on my other channel. So some of you may not know, but I'm also a momager. Um, and I will explain more about that, but basically, <clears throat> my daughter's a music producer. She's um, really growing in the industry as a music producer. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say more on my channel. So follow me um, at Shan Gibbons. I'll pull it on the screen. Or hopefully, like, actually, there's going to be a link in the description. Um, so guys, follow me so you can see more about it. For those who are mummagers that are watching, this is for you as well. And for those who are curious about what it's like being a manager, but also a mother, um, yeah, check it out as well. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, I'm going to be posting a video very soon about that. Um, I was actually going to post one today and I was like, nah, this needs to be done properly. Proper. 
So yeah, look out for that. It's been it's been a crazy journey, guys. <laughs> Very good, but crazy at the same time. Yeah, mad. So you know, make sure you check the other channel. The channel will explain more. Mm -hmm. Some of you might relate as well. No, that's what I'm saying. Some there may be people out there that's watching it right now and said, "Oh my God, I've figured it out. I've met one who's starting out, but she's all the way in Canada." <clears throat> that I've been speaking to. So yeah, I won't go into it anymore. I'd rather you guys to go to my Shane Gibbons channel. It's my music channel, but I'm also going to start doing videos like this on my channel. Yeah. I haven't got much videos up there of what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm going to start filling it up with this sort of content. So I have proper concentrate on this food now. It's banging! Mm. But what, what what I really want to talk about today mm -hmm. was the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. What situation was that? It <laughs> looks like they've got bad situations going on. Okay. Because I haven't followed it. You have, I have. I have a reason for following it. But... I'm glad I've I've kind of fallen to understand a bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, so Aldo had does it really well. I, I tell him little bits, but this is the concept of the whole situation. So in 2018, um, Amber Heard wrote an article, um, and in that article, she expressed that she was being abused. Okay. Yeah. By Johnny Depp. Basic. Okay. But at the time, I don't think she actually says his name though. But they were together at the time. Okay. So obviously it's quite evident they were married for okay. that period of time. And she were they married at that period of time? Well, anyway, people would have known her last relationship and it would have been Johnny Depp. So to say she was in, under domestic violence, put mm. two and two together, it makes four. So from 2018 until now, yeah. um, he's lost roles, like the Pirates of the Caribbean, he lost that role. I think it's Pirates of the Caribbean 6 he was supposed to do, or there was talks of it. But yeah. then obviously due to the allegations that was made, and so publicly as well, um, it really affected his job. So I think he's suing her for 50 million. I thought it was 100. Is it 100? I, I swear it was 50 million. You know, whatever, it's millions. It's millions, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, basically, um, it's been going on for a really long time. And there's certain things that have been said. Some things I can't say because we're eating. And some things I can <coughs> say. Excuse me. Um, because we're not, because we're eating and it's fine. Um, so basically, he's, he's suing her for defamation of character, I believe. Or, yeah, defamation. Because... He's saying that he was not abused by her. So he didn't abuse her. He was actually abused by her. Mm -hmm. And he's conjured up so much evidence on her. And like, it's got to a point where it's like, wow, I mean, what else? What other information do you need? Can I have some more? What other information do you need based on what was said? Even audios. Like, they've yeah. got audio recordings. Yeah, I heard one, one part of the audio. It's mad. Like, proper cussing each other, you know. Basically, she was recording him so much. And I was thinking, when I have conversations with you, I don't record you. <coughs> and I know you don't record me, so why are you recording, please? It's like every conversation. Like, I will understand if it was like, 
maybe five where something's happening and you want to expose it, whatever. Mm. But there was so many recordings that she's done of him. But then he had recordings of her as well. There was one main recording that came out that was mad where she was like, basically, who's going to believe you? Mm. So my question is, are there a lot of guys out there that go through domestic violence, but they feel like they they can't say anything due to the stigma of being a man? I believe so. Why is that? Uh, <clears throat> one, there are very so many men out there that are being violated. But uh, why don't they expose it? You mean? Why do you think that they can't expose it? Uh, probably because what other people would say. One. Is that number one? That what people would say? Yeah. It's oh, wow. Well. Okay. Like, uh, oh. Have another one. Thank you. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Uh, obviously, it's, if, if people are going to believe him to start with. Why wouldn't they believe it? Why wouldn't they believe another guy? Because I've, I've seen other videos where this guy, sorry to cut you off, mm. I saw this video of this like, you know those ambulance programs that we mm. sometimes watch? There was this one guy, he was in hospital, right? And found that his this woman was consistently abusing him, sending him back to hospital. And the last footage they showed, at the end showed that he actually died. I saw another footage on another program that we have, like a morning show called Good Morning, where this, another guy was saying he was literally starved and burnt and stuff like that in his sleep by his previous girlfriend. But he's spoken up and she's actually being sentenced, but we don't know how long the sentence is. Yeah, so she's actually being <laughs> sentenced, right? And if you see the size of him and the size of her, it's just crazy. You won't believe it. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to believe. That's what I'm saying. This is that when when you see the difference in size and and I mean like how can you let that little thing? Yeah, but then he's sleeping. Okay, in this situation, you don't want to mix up the thing. Mm. He's sleeping and she throws hot boiling water on his back. That's too much. Sorry guys, <laughs> we just had to have this thing off. <laughs> Shaz will explain to you why we're laughing like this. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not explaining nothing. Uh, let's move on please. I'm no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, no. I'm just moving on. I'm, I'm not laughing at the situation. What I'm laughing at is what you said, and I had to cut it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are extra, so I just I'm just cutting it because we haven't got time in it. But it was funny. <laughs> and the transition was was funny though. Well. <laughs> Basically, guys, too like, let's, jump, let's jump back to the thing. Mm -hmm. I think, obviously, some men uh, have fear that uh, no one will believe them. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, it's what other people would say about the, per the person as well. Mm -hmm. okay. But do you think that's fear, though? What they will say about the per oh, like... It's like, you know, like pride, isn't it? Mm. Men, no, but not, I think not men have a lot of pride in it, so they keep a lot of things to themselves. Okay. Sometimes, so they don't expose it, so they'll go through trauma until they can they just explore. They can't take no more. Oh. One or the other. So, do you feel like um, that's a deep question? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Going back to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, yeah. Mm. She said in her, in the audio, mm. the jury's not going to believe you. Who's going to believe you? The jury's not going to believe you, right? Yeah. 
And I feel like she was provoke in the in the audio. She was provoking him. Nah. I heard the, like, audio proper provocation Proper or not. provoking, man. Like, when I tell you she was going in, she was going in, like, provoking him hard. So, do you feel like there are some cases where the man is not willing to be domestically violent, but they get pushed badly and then they're seen as domestically violent? I, I think like, it happens it to a lot. It could happen. That well, could happen to a lot of good men out there. Mm. Because it's it's like we can take things to a certain extent. It's like. <clears throat> can I some tissue, sorry. Oh, yeah. Like we can take things to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And it's like. We like a cup. When a cup is full and it starts dripping, that's it. When that droopy part happens, we just lose it. It's oh, uh, not not every man is, is like that, but I'm just saying, majority that they, they got that weakness, they can't take it, they can't. That mindset as well, you yeah. know, that mindset like, you know what, you see it's just words, mm. it's not hurting me. Yeah, but. But not everyone. That's a bit mad still because I don't think any man should tolerate that level. I mean, fair enough. Both sides can get upset and angry and whatever at that moment. But to take him to the level where I heard, like, she was literally pushing man's, like, it got to a point where she was so violent mm. that it cut half of his finger off. He had to go to, like, to the emergency room and half of his finger off. But then he did a madness. They let people in there. He did a madness, <laughs> yeah, where he used that same finger that got that got severed because mm. all he he said that basically he all he felt was something warm going down his finger mm. he used that same finger to write a message on the wall so like i think because he takes a lot of drugs as well he hasn't denied it he said yep well, they all do. even the people in the courts everyone's shaking but what i'm saying is is that he admitted that yes, he has taken cocaine. Yes, he has taken drugs, but that doesn't determine that he was violent. Mm. And I think that's why he's being honest because he's like, when people ask questions like, "Oh, but did that change your character? Did you ever see him X, Y, Z?" The answers were always no. Mm. And I believe them. I don't think it was due to, "Oh, I'll, I'll pay you money when you, if you say no." You can tell that no one is mm. like, "What are you talking about?" Like this woman's mad. So. But I feel like, this is what I feel from a fem female perspective, right? I feel like sometimes we as females utilise, no, let me say it again. Sometimes there's some females, yeah, not that we as females, but not, it's not we. Yeah. <laughs> some females take advantage of the fact that they're females in a sense where, Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that. They take advantage of happening. it. Because they're like, if he just touches me, he's down. But the, the the fact is, I think this Johnny Depp situation has made it very clear that, you know what? There's bare guys. There's a lot of guys out there that are going through domestic abuse. And it's time for them to speak. Mm. You know? All right, fair enough. Women are coming up, especially in the music industry. Women are starting to come up and show, you know, they're doing well and stuff. Mm. And I don't want to, I don't want to demolish that, but we have to be honest, like, the way I personally view it is like, she took it to the next level, like, all right, if you were upset, like, sometimes, mm. okay, tell you what, us women, if they don't, if we don't feel like we've been given enough attention, sometimes we could, we'd like, cut out in it, yeah. like, because women do require some attention if it's not by the opposite sex it could be to anyone like attention like when i was younger i loved the attention of my dad or my mom or my brothers whatever like it's just attention right um and i think that a lot of women if they don't feel like they're getting the time with their partners and stuff some can really cut out really bad mm -hmm. instead of just sitting down and saying i really miss you what can we do about it in her case Instead of just saying, I miss you, I want to, she started cutting out. Yeah. But I think that 
it's caused by lack of attention, like neglect. Mm. I think that neglect yeah, that has happen. a lot to do with why she's the way she is and she doesn't know how to deal with it. I don't think he's a saint in this situation. Oh, no, it's not. I think that he knows how to press her buttons and it made her switch after a while. I think he wanted to help her, but then it got to a point where he's like, he's, he was getting fed up and he was just like, I don't really care. Mm. Um, I'm chatting a lot, but this, I've been watching it <coughs> hardcore. But my main, my main thing is, like, you said that a lot of guys... Uh, it's like they're ashamed of expressing or exposing. They're ashamed, and obviously, even if they're on expressing to their friends, they, you know, is a possibility they must start laughing. Deep it like this: mm. you love me, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I would never do this to you. Mm. However, imagine a friend having that same love for his woman, mm. and he doesn't see that she's been abusive to him. She doesn't see. It. He doesn't see. It. You see it. Mm. He doesn't see it. He adores her, he loves her so much, she knows it. And she's taking advantage. Mm. And then you see him having marks on his face. And you don't know, you're like, bro, what's going on? Are you okay? And he's hiding it. I know, I know what you mean. Uh, I get what you're saying. It's like, um, obviously they're blind to it, that uh, they're being they're abused. They're not, not blind. It's not that they're blind, it's just like, because they're in their head, it's like, I love, I love her. Or, or, or She'll change. She's gonna change. She's not gonna be like this. So I, I'm gonna try my best, and you still. And get then when abuse. you deep it as well, he mm. loves her so much. He couldn't even put his hand on her. He loves her that so much. Men shouldn't, obviously, and women should put their hands on men, and men should put their hands on women. Mm. But the love that he has for her, to put his hand on her, would break him because mm. he adores her so much. So when she's hitting him, he just can't because he loves her so much. Yeah, he's mad. But... You see it from that angle, it's different, isn't it? Mm. But when you see it from a old man's Maybe we are just taking it because uh, probably for his, uh, there's a hope of change. Which happens with women. Women. Yeah, which is vice versa. It's, it's vice it's, it's versa, it happens. Thing. People just need to speak to someone. Let me tell you about the Johnny Depp and Amber mm. Heard, yeah, which made me say, you see what happens when you're fast. Mm. He was married to his previous wife for 25 years. I don't know why it ended, why it broke up. Yeah. Depp. Johnny Depp, he okay. was with a woman, his wife, for 25 years, which means he was with her before he became famous. Mm. They get gassed. The things start. Maybe it was the fact that he was doing a lot of work, kind of affected the relationship. I don't know, yeah? But the point is, even she said he wasn't violent. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Even she said, in my 25 years, I've never experienced violence and they're still good friends. Mm. But the point is, whatever success you have in your life, never dash where the person that was there, there with you from the beginning, mm. okay? I don't care how successful we become. No one's getting dashed, in it? Leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this, this discussion. Talk to us. Let us know what you think. 30 likes, that's all we're asking for. Mm -hmm. Um, we really require 30 likes and I think when it hits that 30 likes we'll do another video so guys <laughs> share this video share with whoever you like to share it with hit that like button guys so we can do another video that's right alright alright anyway thank you very much for watching until <laughs> the, the next, next time. time peace